Community on the east side is still mourning today after the shooting deaths of two people along Tusing Road. The two suspects accused in this case were in court earlier this morning. NBC4's Courtney Yoon is joining us live where the shooting happened. And Courtney, I understand you spoke with a close friend of one of the victims. Yeah, Dwayne, that community here is still devastated. As you can see, though, behind me here is where two young men were shot and then later died yesterday. Um, facts read in court today say that it all stemmed from a drug deal, and people who know the four that were involved say they all knew each other and went to school together. Ashton was a great person, somebody you always want to be around. 17-year-old Michael Taylor says Gary Francis, or better known as Ashton, was a kind person who just wanted to make music. He didn't deserve that at all. Ashton was not even that type of dude or anything. He didn't roll like that or nothing. Taylor says he talked to Francis the night before he died, shocked to hear about the news of his death the next day. He says the community is still devastated. We moved out of the hood to get away from that from that stuff so I could you know so we could have better lives and then people just easily influenced brought it to the suburbs. Today it's stated in court that the suspects 19 year old Mia Seamus and 21 year old Connor Jeffries had met the two victims Francis and 21 year old James Earl Miller for a drug deal. In the background you can hear the families of the victims weeping while the facts are read. Mr. Jeffries pulled out a handgun and shot and killed uh, Miller and Francis. Police say Francis and Miller were seated in their car when they got shot, and Seamus drove away, fleeing the scene with Jeffries. Miller's mother and twin sister spoke with us after the arraignment this morning. It's heartbreaking. It's, it's heartbreaking. I don't know how I'm going to move on. Miller's mother says that her son has a three week old baby who will now grow up without his father. Live in Columbus, Courtney Yoon, NBC4.